Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, watch out for spam. What's happening in the comments down below? Feel free to join VIP. They'll be alerted and never get in and out of plays. Also, get your free stock from down below. Hit me up for a 15-minute, 30-minute phone call full of value, full of gems. Change your whole perspective on the market. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. Dive right into it. See what's going on. Analysts projecting the AMC could be looming a short squeeze due to borrow fees drastically increasing guys so let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what's going on i also share with you guys something that sparked my attention as i know these videos is not hype spark controversy none of that with amc this is only stating what's exactly in front of us pointing out the facts and letting us know the risk and opportunity that may present itself like I told you guys, the best position is on the sidelines, a cash position, waiting and hulking for the best possible opportunities to create itself in the market and then striking and then sitting right back out, chilling, waiting. Especially in the economy and the situation and the state that the world going into, we don't know which businesses is going to come out of these rookies and continue to succeed. We don't know which ones is going to fail. Obviously, I do believe the biggest are the biggest, even when things come in their way for them to fail, they so conniving and manipulative, they still gonna win. But in the end, they'll lose if that makes sense. For instance, like Meta, Facebook, it was over with. That stock should be crashing, it should be going down. People, it had a nice run, great company, but only for a certain period of time. You could be great, but I believe some greatness have a time period to it. Like, you can't be great forever. Meaning, you know, LeBron James, time period to it. He can't be great forever. He's the greatest basketball player, but eventually he's going to get too old. And he's not going to ball at the same pace and be able to create the same opportunities on the court as he did before. Same thing with business. Eventually, you know, the well will run dry. Some businesses last for thousands, hundreds of years, this, that, and third, but a lot of them don't even last for three. So as we know, guys, same thing, what I'm just trying to say, how TikTok was taking over, Facebook, all these other social platforms in America with a crash and have been over and done with. But now they're able to restructure and revamp their business, coming out with paying for verifications that amplify Meta as well and all the other stuff. But anyways, just to get you guys to uh, know uh, the standpoint uh, with that. But anyways, if we go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Short squeeze looms for AMC as stock bar rates soar, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, see exactly what's going on. So as we know, guys, it's something interesting going on right now. AMC is in a very, very unique space. Being for the fact that they're forcefully trying to do this reverse stock split to reset the price and short it all the way back down to the level it's currently at. AMC has been hammered down all the way back down to ground zero and came to three, four dollars a share. This is the start from zero. It's nowhere else for it to go. I mean, it could come down to two, one, this, that, and third. But for over half a million, millions of people to be still involved in this particular uh, stock, we know if it does come down to those levels, it'll be artificial. So I'm pretty sure the people that's not even in AMC is going to be able to buy and capitalize off the 100, 200, 300% that's going to happen inevitably if it continues to staircase down like that, guys. Which, as we know, <laughs> anything is possible with AMC. But I do believe with what's going on right now, as far as the, the, the judge denying the settlement for the shareholders' lawsuit against AMC, which allowed them to convert the AMC preferred equity units uh, with a 10 for one reverse stock split, that since that's being postponed and delayed right now, that is buying us time. And on top of that, something interesting just happened in the space of meme stocks. If you know Express, Express was one of those stocks I called out a while ago when AMC, when it first got on my radar, first came about. When, was, when Express, when AMC did its thing, I called out a sympathy play, which was Express, was going to do its thing. It 100% guaranteed did exactly what I expected to do the times that we had called it out. Now, if you notice, Express has been in a sense, it's been having bigger pops than BBY. It's the new BBY, the new Bed Bath & Beyond as of now. Usually before out of all the mean stocks, GME the King, AMC was next, but it'll be BBY, Bed Bath & Beyond, the one that pop 100%, 50% a day out of nowhere when it should have been AMC. Now, Bed Bath & Beyond instead of declining, while Express is the one popping out of nowhere, going up 30 40%, 100%, 50% in a single day, as we've seen in the past few weeks and on Friday, if you're paying attention to details and zooming all the way out and paying attention to it. And as we know, what they got to do with AMC? See, if Express... BlackBerry, 
whatever one of them in that field, in that sector, it's not a guarantee that just because they're going up, they're going to push everyone else up. But the chances is that much higher whenever one of them is already succeeding and doing well in a space, it can definitely draw attraction to the other ones in that space. Express taking off 40% in a single day, it definitely can catch fire to AMC. That's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand here. So if we also go ahead and take a further look, Right here, we got the barring cost for the stock of the American movie theater chain open Wednesday, April the 12th at almost a thousand percent. According to the relevant data shared on Twitter, uh, in investment advisor Kevin on the same day. So over a thousand percent guys, that's insane. So if we go ahead and take a, uh, further look, we know the Dow has shed it more than a hundred points on Friday, but it was the fourth straight, fourth straight positive week. Like I told you guys, they're gonna to have to ramp up the market. Crypto going to shoot up thousands, Bitcoin specifically, and the market is gonna push up 30%, 40% maybe as well, because they're gonna to have to do that just to bring it back down lower because the world is not doing done with inflation yet, guys. As we know, data just was released on last week that inflation has cooled down, but that's just a hot and cold switch. Just to make things seen in psychology to think make you think things have eased and things is getting better, and then they're gonna come out next week and hit you with a oh things heating up it's getting bad inflation is looking like it's about to ramp up gas prices are going up this and that the third watch how it happened right and then you know we already talked about the cash and how they're gonna get rid of that and all that good stuff but anyways back to uh amc and express we see that a say we see that express was up over 40 percent on friday alone at 93 cent 94 almost hitting that dollar mark still in it off up over 25 percent at 84 cents so what happened with express see this type of news and what's going on over here can also help benefit amc so right here we got uh express shares soar over 23 percent at the deal to buy bono bonobos from walmart at a big discount Shares of Aperio Retailer Express soared more than 20% in extended trading Thursday after announcing a deal to buy menswear brand Bonobos from Walmart for a fraction of what the mega retailer paid to acquire it in 2017. So this is going to be huge. They're going to basically make an, and saving a lot of money on the back end and going to be able to be more profitable off of this, guys, if you understand business. they saving money, which is like they're making money, and also they're going to be making more profits on the back end because it cost them significant less to be able to acquire what they was acquired in 2017 for an even higher price. So if they were spending a hundred million dollars in inventory on this and now they able to get that same hundred million dollars worth of inventory but for a fraction of the cost, maybe for fifty million or sixty million, saving them forty million dollars, which is in returns as profits on the balance sheet. And in return, they're gonna make even more profit on the Bonaboos, however you pronounce it, being for the fact that they got it for a less price, a lesser price. Walmart sell Bonaboos to WHP Global in Express in a $75 million deal. Walmart is selling Bonaboos to a brand management firm, WHP Global in Express, for $75 million. The second time it sold a direct to consumer brand this year. The retail giant originally purchased Bonaboos in 2017 for $310 million. While it was attempting to grow its online presence under, under former e-commerce president, Mark Lore. So, as we know, guys, that's great information, great news going forward into next week. Lots of money to be made. Stay meticulous, stay smart, ain't small, miss small, stay on your level until you build up house money to be able to graduate and go to that next level. So, you already know what to do, man. I love y'all. We out and God bless you. Come.